Hi, so this is not exactly a normal video for me. I'm in a big trauma response right now. And now I'm gonna work through it with you. So let's work through some trauma response. I'm, my uh, energy is heightened. I'm feeling adrenaline and cortisol running through me. I'm not able to do yoga right now. I am able to breathe. So breathe with me. Inhale, two, three, four, hold it. Two, three, four, exhale. Three, four, hold it. Two, three, four, inhale. Four, hold it. Four, exhale. Four, hold it. Four, inhale. Four, hold it. Four, exhale. Four, hold it. Four. There are things in the world I can't fix. There are people in the world who have problems I can't fix. It makes me sad. It makes me scared for them and for the world. There's a lot happening right now and it's incredibly difficult. And I have people asking for help that I can't help by myself. And I have not found a solution to help them. And it takes me out of my peace to know how many people in the world are suffering right now? The only way that I can deal with that right now is by taking care of my energy. Because I do no one any good in front of me unless I take care of my energy. And I am incredibly sad by what happens in the world. And I feel helpless. I can feel hopeless. I want so badly to do good and to find solutions for people. My nonprofit tries to find solutions in the moment for individuals that are in front of me. But I have friends across the world in places that are in crisis. And I want to bring them here to me so we can be a team working on those crises but I am not in a financial position right now to do that. So I'm sad. So the first thing in a trauma response to do, because this brings up big hopeless feelings, disappointment feelings, helpless feelings. We start with our breath. We inhale two, three, Four. It's called box breath. Hold your breath. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Hold it. Two, three, four. And as we do the box breath, we're working on our nervous system and getting more centered and making an effort to take care of ourselves first because if we don't put our oxygen mask on first and that plane crashes we can't help anybody so box breath inhale stop thinking four hold it focus on the breath four exhale four hold it four also noticing the colors and the things around you so right now I have yellow and green and white. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trees. I have a stop sign that's red. I have a crooked uh, transfusion, trans something electrical box. 
Looks like it got hit by a car one day. It's a little bit crooked. I see getting more narrow and I see three birds and I see a blue construction flag in the ground. And I see a little fence across here. This little fence. I see green grass. And we breathe. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Hold it. Two, three, four. I'm going to continue working on myself here, but I wanted to share. Look, I'm a domestic violence survivor. I was a sick child. They thought I was going to have cancer or die by the time I was seven, like three times. I have trauma in here. I work very hard to not have that trauma. So I'm sharing with you practices that when you are triggered and you're in your trauma, what you can do. Also calling people, I've been doing that. Calling people, distracting, having my feelings, all of that. I've been doing that too. We don't go through this necessarily alone, which is another reason I'm sharing it with you. Find your support system, box breathing, stay present. I will go home and do some yoga. This is it for today. I hope you have a good day. Thanks for letting me share and I'll see you tomorrow.